ladies and gentlemen. My name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is Sequence. Sequence is an RPG by Iridium. This was a release that came out on console first and has now made its way to the PC. It's an RPG with a rhythm game element. It's quite intriguing, so let me show you this and see what I can derive from it. So I've done all the tutorials because there's about 20 minutes of tutorials at the start of the game, which is all voice acted, so it was utterly inappropriate to film. So let's have a quick look at the option screen. So the, the start of the game says that this is designed to be played with a 360 pad and plays better with a 360 pad, although... As you can see, yes, you can just control it with the mouse if you like. It does slow down a little bit for some reason, but hey. You can rebind the keys if you so desire. You've got to use two sets of directional arrows, so this can get a little bit hectic. For some inexplicable reason, it doesn't have a volume option, which is kind of weird when you've got a rhythm game. <laughs> that made me scratch my head just a little bit. I think that's a bit of a vestige from consoles, bearing in mind, of course, you can just turn your system down with that. No, it does not have a volume option. In fact, it doesn't really have any graphics options at all, honestly. There's windowed mode and, well, not windowed mode. And that really is about it. You can also configure your latency just in case you happen to have a particularly laggy monitor or setup or whatever so that you can sync it up with the music. Anyway. So you are currently this guy who has woken up in a strange tower. There's a girl on the intercom telling you what to do. Sarcastically, I might add. I'm hoping there'll be a bit of voice acting that I can show you because the voice acting in the tutorial is particularly funny. A lot of fourth wall breaking stuff, very sarcastic humor. So quite nice for an indie title, really. I, mean, I was expecting bad voice acting. It certainly wasn't. All right. So you battle monsters by using a rhythm game mechanic and various spell fields. So let me try and show you exactly what I mean by that. Let's go battle, shall we? All right. What would I like to battle? A derp fish. Obviously, we're going to battle the derp fish. That has to happen. And this is also going to tell me what music I'm going to be playing. A 95 BPM song called Dirty. I can also preview the track if I like. I'll press the one button. That will that'll give me the music. That's pretty groovy. I like that. So this game does have quite the selection of music in it, which is pretty awesome. So let's fight the derp fish. Here we go. Dirty by Ronald Jenkins. All right. So you're going to see three fields here, and you're going to see one of them, which is a defensive field. This one, you are deflecting attacks. If any of those arrows get past, this is very Stepmania-ish, those of you who have played that. If any of those get past, then you take damage, depending on the color of the gem that falls past you. Now, there is a mana field here. You can use it to charge your mana. Let me just switch back to here to defend against that. Ah, press the wrong sodding button. It does take a little bit of getting used to, honestly, with the keyboard. So you got to switch between these three fields to refill your mana and also cast spells. So I can defend against it there. I've just cast an arc light spell, which has done damage to my opponent. Ah! If you miss that, then you end up losing all of the mana that you invested in the spell. And I'm actually playing this on hard at the moment because it said those with musical ability. I did used to play in a band for quite some time. But this is quite challenging while talking. This is Phil Collins' style of gaming right here. It's a little difficult. All right. Let's fire off a spheric right here. Speaking of a little bit difficult. Oh, that's annoying. On the keyboard, it takes a lot of getting used to because you've got to press two different sets of directional arrows. Needless to say, you've got a different setup on the console because you've got two analog sticks you can use. You can kind of dual stick it. A little bit easier. All right. Let's set up a barrier. Let's quickly block that one. Now, the barrier is going to mean that less gems fall down in the defensive field. So I'm going to take less possibility of damage. But, oh, God. Wrong one. <laughs> there we go. You can miss as many mana gems as you like, but you have to use the mana gems to recharge your mana as you go. I'm going to grab one here. Oh, there's that. Ah, balls. Ah, not quick enough. It's all right. I still have an arc light I can use there. Oh, we need to defend. Then switch. Oh, I've missed the defense. Switch over to this. It's really hard to keep the beat while talking. My God, this is actually, I think, one of the most difficult games I've ever played that I have to commentate. I'm not commentating. It's okay. But this makes it a bit goddamn tricky. Thank you very smegging much. Anyone who believes otherwise, you sodding try it. Oh, I missed it again. All right. Okay, defensive field. This is all in time to the music. Some of it is a little bit offbeat. That's deliberate. All right. I hit it with that. 
and then regen the mana, and... Aha! Bollocks! Really? I think I'm actually going to lose this fight, because I haven't done enough damage. If you don't manage it in time, then... Well, yeah, kind of boned. I lose. The dirt fish beats me. Well, at least that demonstrate the battle mechanics for you. Now, after each battle, you gain experience and you can get item drops and things like that. So there you go. I did actually get some experience for failing. All right. Let's beat the dirt fish this time around. Let's not screw it up, shall we? I'm going to use mostly arc light this time around because it's an easier spell combination. Okay, my spells are ready. Switch over the defensive field to stop that. I'm going to try and get a barrier up as well. Yeah, it's just three nice and easy beats for the arc light. Spheric is a bit trickier. Ah, wrong field, wrong field. Ah, got confused there. There we go. I missed that. Okay, I missed the barrier. It's on cooldown right now. Let's set it back up again. Okay, barrier's now up. That should help me a little bit on the defensive side of things. Let's switch back over. Takes quite a bit of getting used to. <laughs> Uh, it's, it, yes, it's a little hectic, to say the least. This is level one, by the way. It, it gets worse. <laughs> These are the easiest enemies I will fight. I don't have to actually take all that mana, but it's sort of an OCD thing. I feel like I must. All right, let's get this right. Yeah, there we go. Now that's a spheric, so that's a little bit of damage there to the enemy. It's got quite a short cooldown, that one. Currently, I can use three spells together. You get up to six. So, yes. Gets a little bit hectic. <laughs> a lot of options for you. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, that's nice of you! <laughs> Dirtfish is throwing multiple attacks at me. Not liking that. All right. Let's throw another arc light at it. So, a spell field. Nice and easy. This sh I think this kills it. No, not yet. It's got too much defense. All right. Get some more mana. This is the only RPG I think I've ever played where I'm sort of rocking slowly backwards and forwards and not from being driven insane by the damn game. Okay, I've got one minute left. Let's hit it with another arc light. Okay, dirt fish, time to meet your maker. With groovy beats in the background. There we go. So yes, that is actually kind of difficult. <laughs> Makes more sense if you're focusing on it. Not if you're doing what I'm doing, which is trying to commentate while playing a rhythm game. Ooh, items. A treasured fanny pack. That sounds filthy. I also got some hipster cotton. You probably haven't heard of it. All right. Let's see what I got then. So you, this takes you back to the safe room. So I fought that and I've acquired some items. What I need to do is to craft a key to unlock the door to get to the next level. How does one do that? We go to the gear screen. Let's have a look and see what we have. I have all manner of different things I can make. Apparently, you make an ir iridescent battle axe out of obsidian and hipster cotton. How does that make any sense? It's a rather nice weapon, I assume. Ironic armor. Why does that not need hipster cotton? Why does that need grape juice, a bottomless pit, and rubber cement? That's probably the irony of it, isn't it? Okay, game. Okay. We get the idea. Right, I need hipster cotton, a bottomless pit, and rubber cement in order to craft that. I would like to know what my other item is. I think it was an ar- That's armor! Okay. We never actually worn on the funny. Useful information to have. All right. I'm equipping that. Now I am significantly more hipster than I was before, and that has armored me against the demons. All right. Let's go fight more chthonic horrors. There's some severe Lovecraft stuff going on here and a little bit of internet meme. All right. Let's just battle once again. Goldem on the Wumper. We could fight the Dirtfish again. You can see that's the drops that it, well, drops. So if I want a chance of getting more hipster cotton, I can hit the dirt fish. But I don't, so I'm going to fight the Wumper. This is a little bit of a different song. 122 BPM. Bit quick. All right, let's go. This is probably going to be even more difficult, <laughs> at least in terms of commentary. All right. Okay, Arclight is ready. Let's hit them with that first and hope that the defensive field doesn't... Oh, Jesus Christ, really? <sighs> really should have put a freaking barrier up first to stop that from happening. All right, we've got some early 90s dance here. This could be too unlimited, quite frankly. Some of you probably, in fact, most of you probably don't know what too unlimited is. That's a good thing, trust me. You missed nothing. All right. Made some more damage there, but I've got plenty of HP to absorb that, so I'll just let that through, really. 
Alright. There we go. Damage. Rocking it up here. Quick switch, a quick switch, and a block. There we go. See, I'm kind of getting the hang of this now. It takes some practice. It's probably my fault for putting on hard. To be fair, there's actually one more difficulty level. This was the difficulty level for those with musical ability. The last difficulty level is for those with social inability. It's their joke, not mine. Right. Down you go, Mr. Wumper. Ah. All right, let's see what he gave me. Give me items. Yes, my active weapon is a butter knife. Ooh, a bottomless pit and experience gem. Very nice. All right, okay, so that's some of the items I need. Let's use that experience gem. That sounds like a plan. Let's get another level. We'll try to. All right, let's go through the menus. It is mouse-driven. You can do that. It is designed around a pad, but they have thought to put mouse-driven interfaces into the game, which is good. I can see why it would be a little easier with the pad, but I think once you get used to it with the keyboard, it's probably fine. It just it takes like your brain takes a little bit of time to figure out what it exactly means when you're using WASD and the arrow keys on the other side of the keyboard. That could, by the way, be a problem for those of you who want to play this on netbooks. Anything that doesn't have cursor keys to the right hand side, you're gonna have to rebind those keys. At least you can rebind them, but at that point, you just plug in a 360 pad and everything gets wonderful. All right, let's use an experience gem. Can be desynced for experience points. All right, let's desynth it for experience points then. I get to be level three. Sweet. Okay, more mana, more HP, more offense, more defense. More good stuff. Don't have any other spell slots, unfortunately. I can't equip any more spells. I actually have four spells available. I do have a healing spell as well. Interesting thing about the spells is that it encourages you to practice them. So if I want to say practice Azure Wind, for instance, I can cast it in this menu, and that's going to show me the sequence I'm going to need. Which is that. Probably worth having, but I'm going sort of a damage build. I've got Arc Light and Spheric, so I just throw all of that damage out and hope for the best. It's weird to talk about a damage build in a rhythm game, but this is quite original in terms of its format. I want to try and get through this floor so I can hopefully show you some of the voice acting, because it was really good, and it, it was all part of the tutorial, and I couldn't get a word in edgeways while I was trying to record it. All right. What assumes that the last enemy I need is probably here, so... Yep, let's uh, get some obsidian from it or whatever. All right. This is, I think, a fairly easy one. Yeah, this is the one I was doing the tutorial, so a little bit easier. Miss the defense. There you go. He needs spheric. It doesn't really matter. He hits like a pansy anyway. All right, spheric's back off cooldown. That's the defensive ah, bollocks. <laughs> it does still take some getting used to juggling all three fields. And this is level one. There are seven floors in this game. The game gets much harder. Tricky stuff. There we go. Eat that. Thank you very much. Follow up with an arc light to finish him off. Switch the fields. And boom. There we go. Ah. Hectic. I think I might have what I need to craft the item. Unfortunately, things have a chance of failure. Which concerns me, because that means I'll probably end up redoing stuff if it screws up. I just got obsidian and didn't get a rare or a treasured item. That kind of sucks. But never mind. All right, let's have a look at our gear. Can I craft what I need? I can craft the battle axe. I can't craft the key yet. I need rubber cement. That's probably a rare item, isn't it? I'm probably going to have to grind for that. But I could make a battle axe. I don't know if I want to do that, because that's using at least one of the items. Ah, screw it. I can probably get hips hips the cotton back so I can show you the crafting system here all right this is the result item right it gives you plus one in offense and plus three HP actually never mind I'll show you the crafting system when I get the key because I want to show you the next level if I can Whoa. cannot unlock the door yet all right so we must battle once again thankfully the battles don't go on for too long I don't know where that comes from let's try the golden again that's got a higher chance of getting a rare so maybe that's got the cement Okay, we're full on mana. Good. 
let's pop both items we have here. There we go, now I'm sort of getting used to this. I can flick between the fields quite fast. Unfortunately, he couldn't defend against that, but to be honest, he's hitting me so weak, it's barely worth defending. I might as well just throw spells at him. I assume that that's fairly essential later in the game. There we go, precision. I assume I got a good achievement there by landing everything and not screwing up. Good. What'd it give me? Obsidian. Do you give me a rare? No. Let's fight the sodding thing again. Grinding. At least it doesn't take very long. Right, we're just going to ignore the defensive field entirely and just throw spells at it as rapidly as I can. There we go. Now, I think we saw the dirt fish that it actually... Oh, balls. That's the wrong field. Ugh. You see, I'm not paying attention now, and I've suddenly lost the groove, as it were. Balls! How did I even miss that? I thought I got that one right. Apparently not. Ignore the defensive field. He's not hitting me hard. The different colored gems on the defensive field indicate more damage, by the way. So you can't just leave it. Otherwise, it'll start throwing harder hits at you. Sometimes, anyway. I think this monster just doesn't, because he's a weakling. All right. Bang! All right, down you go, little mister. Give me your stuff. There we go, rubber cement. That was a good guess. All right, cool. You know what? I'm going to fight the dirt fish once more so I can get that axe as well. What can I say? I'm a bit of an item whore. Plus, I kind of like the music on this one. So I'm going to fight it again. There we go. Let's get something groovy on. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we'll get these spells off the cooldown. I'm gonna probably have to defend that. Ah! Damn, I'm good. Holy hell. I'm sorry, but did you see those fat beats? Oh, yes. Now I missed. You see, now I'm trying to show off and it's not working out. I'm sorry, Jazz is empowering me. Synth saxophones just do that to me. It's. I wouldn't exactly call it an ailment. I think it's quite awesome. Battle the Dirt Fish. Not something I thought I'd hear myself saying, honestly. Okay, let's barrier up because this guy actually hits a bit harder. We've lost to him before. Oh, but I missed that one. All right. Hit Spheric. There we go. Get some more mana. There we go. Getting the rhythm. Mana, mana, mana. Delicious mana. Mana, apparently. The game actually told me that I pronounced that wrong. That's true, I do. Sod. Hard, you've got to be really, really precise. You get a bit more leeway on the other difficulty levels. Needless to say. Bang. There we go. Oh my. Okay, I'm just going to have to let that through. It's alright, it's only two damage. I can eat that. Get some more mana. Mana. I don't know. It, it might be right in the UK. Possibly. I'm not sure, honestly. It's not a word I use an awful lot. Why would I? Not in general speech, at any rate. Of course, videos on the internet, but that doesn't count. All right, down you go. Dirtfish, give me more stuff. Okay, you gave me a straw man and not the item I was actually after. Typical. You can never trust a dirtfish, but I am intrigued to know what that's all about. What is it? Oh, it's an accessory. I like it. <laughs> no, you're wrong. Don't tell me to shut up. I'm leaving. This game has a very witty sense of humor, in my personal opinion. Sense of humor is, needless to say, entirely subjective, but in my opinion, it's pretty funny. It's got some very clever jokes. It is pretentious in some places, but I think it knows it, and it plays on it a little. All right. Let's make a key. I'm going to invest a lot of experience in this to make sure that I actually get it. Unfortunately, you got massive diminishing returns there. I don't want to drop a level. So my success rate is 91.8%. Let's hope that it doesn't screw up. Otherwise, I'm getting back to farming. Go synthesis. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yay, there we go. That would have been really bad for the video. It fails with a 91% chance of success. I have no idea why they put that system in the game, but they did. So there you go. Alrighty then, cool, I have the key, I can unlock the door, I can go to the next level, I can hopefully have some voice acting, some funny jokes and such, some wit in my game.
Here we go. Hey, you did it. Yes, I did. Yeah, huh? How are these ingredients mixing like this anyway? There's no catalyst, no casting mold, no... Hey, look, it's the keyhole. Go insert your new key, you handsome young man, you. Young man? How old are you? 24. You're the same age I am. What are you getting at here? If you say 24 isn't young, I'm going to punch you in the face. Through the intercom. Yes. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, there are sometimes some get who the balls. Hey, Naya? Yeah. There's a guy here. Yeah, I can see him. Why is there a guy here? Because you need to fight him. Were you planning on informing me of this at any point? How would that be any fun? I hate you. Who? Oh, I dare say. I call into question your sexual orientation. Good sir. I do posit that your mother has maintained intimate relations with men other than her chosen spouse. <laughs> yes. Uh, Naya? This is Percival, the first guardian. Each guardian is, shall we say, unique. Speaketh the lady true, Sir Percival at your service. Might I say, your pantaloons and frock are shoddy and poorly made. Oh. Is... Is this a rap battle? <laughs> Your intelligence is well below the expected average for a white male. Perhaps you are of other ethnic descent? Okay, it's a racist rap battle. <laughs> Everyone was racist in Victorian times. Come, do your worst. Lay at me with your finest jibes. Naya, I don't actually have to insult him, do I? No, but, I mean, look at him. He's asking for it. Literally. Um, his face is stupid. You knave! Oh, you befoolish lummox! Your words are poison barbs! I shall remove the piss from thee! I'd like to see you try, Knickerbocker. Bring it thou! That was what I was talking about. I think you've got the point now. This game has quite the set of dialogue on it. All right, here's where things start to get a bit tricky. A, a boss battle of some description. Oh yes, there we go. That's how I roll. It's a bit a little bit offbeat as well. Oh no, box. No, oh, I just let him hit me for God knows how many. I think getting a ban uh, barrier. Oh Jesus, the speed. Okay, this does take quite a lot of getting used to. <laughs> this is hectic to say the least. How? Could I possibly concentrate on talking when it's throwing all that at me from multiple sides? The answer being... <laughs> with difficulty, but with skill. There we go. God damn. <laughs> this is level two, by the way, if you hadn't already gathered. There we go. Ah! But Ah, god damn! <laughs> right, there we go. More mana, there we go. Beat, beat, one. Ah, uh, wrong field. <laughs> that takes a little bit of getting used to as well. It's like, which direction is this coming from? I honestly do not know. There we go. Ah! Come on. If this looks complicated, it kind of is, and it really does get your head spinning. But you do get used to it. It's a very unique battle system, let's just say. Okay, let's get a barrier up there. Block that. Block that, because that's going to hit me like a damn truck. I missed the spell in the process. Kind of had to sacrifice that. At least I've got a barrier up for a little while, I think. No, oh, come on, really? Right, come on, more spells. Everything I have at it. Oh, I had to defend. Uh, come on, I just need one hit. One good hit is all I need. Like that, there we go. Ha! Ah, this is not good stress relief. No, no it is not. Percival, give me your stuff. I didn't want that. No, 
I don't know where it's been. Oh, the sting of defeat. Your shepherd has trained you well. Yeah, I did. Mayhap. Oh, brash youth. You yet imagine me but a flight of whimsy? An illusion or dream? Sort of, yeah. I may assure you that it is not. Take heed. Your life is in truest danger. Seek the top, Kai, and trust your shepherd. She is your only ally. Huh. How did he know my name? Because we told him. Anyway, you're one-seventh of the way through. Congratulations. Uh, great. Listen, Naya, I... I need some answers here. Is my family safe? Is this all for a ransom, or...? I'm sorry, Kai. I don't know. Honest. Best to keep moving. I just... Alright. Up we go. He's Whoa. Blind one. Crystals. Each floor of the tower has some unique characteristics. If it makes you feel better, you're quite close to the safe room. You should be able to get there without any encounters. I'll need to fight eventually, won't I? Yeah. Fantastic. So, what were you doing before the tower? Why the sudden interest? Just making conversation. I'm a graduate student in electrical and computer engineering. I specialize in robotics and machine intelligence. Like Skynet. Right. Just like Skynet. Where do you go to school? University of Florida. <laughs> You're a gator. I bleed orange and blue. Lucky you. And you? Is this a full-time thing, or do you have a nine-to-five? I, um, this is a full-time thing. Really? You people are kind of demanding. You people. Racist. I dislike whatever race fathered you, so yes, I'm a racist. Fathered? Sexist? Okay. So the dialogue's a little hidden. All right, I've got some recipes for you. The second key? Among others. From now on, I'll be giving you an extra recipe per floor. It'll be a little harder to complete, but you'll get some extra benefits for your trouble. Like what? Go get him, tiger. Another spell, there we go. And a bunch of stuff. As you can see, that's the, that's the crafting system there. You collect a bunch of scrolls and the items will drop either rare, common, or treasured with different rates from the different monsters that you fight. So you tend to fight the same monster multiple times, but the battles don't really take all that long. That's the nature of the game, folks. You've just seen basically what the game is. You've seen a boss battle, you've seen the discussion, you've seen the crafting system, you've seen the battle system. You haven't seen the price? It's $5, or £3.50, I believe, at the moment on Steam. It's really quite compelling. It's stressful, it's difficult, on hard anyway. There are easier modes. But the battle system is extremely unique. As I say, it's like mixing Step Mania with an RPG. It's one of the ideas that I suppose has come from Puzzle Quest in that you can take the ideas from a different game and turn the battle system of your RPG into that, take various cues from that. And rhythm-based RPG, folks, it goes by the name of Sequence, which unfortunately is not a very attractive name. Maybe it would sell more copies if it was, but I would highly recommend that you have a look at it. At that price, it's really hard to say no, honestly. Some of the dialogue simply makes it worthwhile. The tutorial stuff is funny as hell. I say, some of that was really good, and then the last bit, well, not so good, but maybe I just don't care about the character yet. Whatever the case, there's a lot to this game for not a lot of money. It's promising 10 plus hours of gameplay. I'd say it's worth the cost based on my first impressions. Eurogamer tends to agree it gave it 9 out of 10. That's a pretty glowing recommendation. I suggest that you check it out. The link to have a look at it is in the description below this video. Just a w one last thing I want to say. The game was very unstable on launch. There, there have been a couple of patches, but I still had this game crash twice on me. It was while alt-tabbed for a while, so that might be something to do with it. It didn't crash while I was playing, but... Yeah, I would imagine that they will nail down that fix. If they've already patched it twice within about three days, they're probably pretty dedicated to get this working. 
And I'd also like to point out that they were quite specific with making this a decent PC release, regardless of the fact that some of the options seem to be missing, like sound levels, because they actually redid the tutorial voice acting with the keyboard controls. So they didn't just leave in rubbish stuff from the console and have the console keys just be said by the narrator. It's actually all being changed to WS and D and the arrow keys and stuff like that. So it does feel like they're putting a bit of extra polish on this for the PC and it's five bucks <laughs> and it's highly original so why not sequence by iridium pick it up on steam right now my name is total biscuit and i will see you next time